Do I need a new bag? Absolutely not. Am I gonna buy one? Most likely. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shigura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So Chanel recently dropped their new in for spring summer and you guys, not one bag was under $5,000. In addition to that, Dior did the same and they have some beautiful bags, but one thing I noticed is that some of these bags or similar bags can be found on the second hand market. Now while they are not exactly the same, they are much, much cheaper. If you are looking for this print in the Dior, you're in luck because they have been using that for a while. One of the places that I look for second hand bags, not only Fashion File, I also look on eBay. With eBay you have to do your due diligence, but you can find some really Really good ones. So this bag, this clutch from Dior that has a very similar print to the new ones is $275. This one, another clutch, is about $250, $249. And this Dior clutch, though it is a different color, is $230. Bags are so expensive these days. And of course, I'm gonna get into some cheaper options because we do high-low on this channel. I just wanted to give you a little insight or a little extra information if you really want a designer bag for a cheaper price. There are so many high-end vanity cases. Chanel had one has one Gucci has one and I know that Valentino has one as well and Tory Burch which is more of an affordable luxury brand had one last year or two years ago that I totally missed but they have recently come out with this vanity case it's $358 as opposed to the one from Chanel which is in the thousands and the Gucci one that I'm also sure is in the thousands and it's just as cute and it's Tory Burch so you know it's gonna be good quality it is on the smaller side, but it still gives off the same vibe. I love the gold and the black. I know silver's in, but I'm still very much a gold girl, and I love gold and black together. So yeah, check this out. I thought that was a very good option if you're looking for a vanity bag and you don't want to spend thousands of dollars. And if you watched this vlog, you saw that I was looking for the Tory Burch Petite, the new version of the Lee Raswell Petite, and I did find it, but I found it in neon green, pink, and blue. And I thought that I would like those colors more. I do like the colors, I just don't think it would work well in my wardrobe. Like if that pink was a little more fuchsia, and if that blue was a little more muted, I would love it. But in black, it is beautiful. I really love it in black. They also have it in white with a yellow trim, which I think is just as gorgeous. And if you watched that video, you heard me talk about how much more could fit in that bag as opposed to um, the regular version. I have the original version. I did a video about that a while ago, maybe one or two years ago. So I was considering getting this if they had a different color. But because I already have the black one in that version, I don't feel like I need both, unfortunately. So let's talk about some heart bags. Hearts are very much in right now. I know that sounds weird, but hearts are everywhere. They were on the runway, they were in clothing, and they are very, very much in bags. They're even in earrings <laughs> and jewelry. We've all seen the Chanel heart bag. Dior has a beautiful one as well, but those are thousands of dollars, whether they are beautiful or not. I've showed you the Coach one and the one from Coach Outlet, and I wanted to show you this one from Caperni. I've seen this before, I've spoke about this before, but I'm bringing it up again because they they are on sale. This one in particular is $323 when it was originally closer to five, I believe. There are different colors. I even found the black one, I believe, on sale as well. So if you like this purse and you've been looking at it, it's a good time to buy. I will say though, is that I heard it doesn't fit much. So it looks big, but the capacity is not as big as it looks. So if you're buying this for work or something, keep that in mind. 
They even have it in a crystal embellished version, which is very on trend. Not on sale though, and it costs it costs more obviously. But I just wanted to show you, just because we like pretty things around here. I thought that this one was so interesting. I haven't seen a lot of people with this particular bag. It looks heavy. I haven't seen it in real life. I will try to, but I haven't. I just feel like it's different than the other heart bags that we've been seeing. I like that it kind of dangles. It's a little dainty depending on how you wear it. Not cheap, but definitely cheaper than the Dior or the Chanel bag. I looked up how to pronounce this name brand and I can't find the correct pronunciation. And I don't want to butcher it. And I'm sure it's out there somewhere, but I can't find it. But this brand has the most interesting bags so they have one in a heart version but they also have just a regular like small baguette type of version in green and and purple a navy blue gradient to a light blue it's just beautiful these bags are definitely a statement piece and something that you probably don't won't carry around every day but it's something that makes your outfit pop or it gives your outfit a little more interest this one in the heart shape since we're talking about hearts is on pre-order until April I believe but it's a very interesting different bag I've seen the other version in person and it is drop dead gorgeous and to bring it all the way down to a nice affordable brand because you know we like high low this heart sling bag from Charles and Keith is $56 and just as cute I've showed you this one from Kurt Geiger before I don't remember if I showed you this one from Rebecca Minkoff, but I feel like it's worth saying again because they have been putting out some beautiful bags as of late and we know that it's good quality because it's Rebecca Minkoff and this bag is just as cute as the other bags. So I have not got a bag from Marc Jacobs since my tote bag and I got two versions of the tote bag and then I also got the camera bag and that was a while ago so I haven't looked. But when I did open up the website, this bag was the first thing that I saw. This is a re-edition from many years ago and I distinctively remember this bag. I wanted it and I couldn't afford it and I had the dupe. I had the dupe in black and brown. The one I had, I have really fond memories of it and I thought that it was just the most beautiful thing. But I will say that I've seen a few of them on the resale market for cheaper. I'll leave a few in the description box, but this is going for about $1,000. I've seen them secondhand for two, $300. So if you wanna save some money, that's the option. Or if you wanna buy brand new, obviously it's right there. Another bag that I stumbled upon on Marc Jacobs is this bag and it's giving me major Dior vibes. It comes in a bigger size and a smaller size and the smaller size comes in different colors. This looks so much like that Dior bag, I love it and I really, really love it in this white color for spring and for summer. I think it's beautiful. And then like everybody else, Marc Jacobs got on the puffy train with this over the shoulder puffy bag very on trend and it's kind of cute in my opinion so in this video i talked about me wanting this jw anderson denim bag and how i was struggling with the idea of spending that much money on a denim bag knowing that denim is just a trend for me and once it goes out i don't know if i'll be wearing it but there are other options though i stand for this bag and i think it is so cute besides these two Brandon Blackwood bags that I spoke about in the last video, we have some other things to talk about. I'm gonna start from the least expensive, which is from Zara. This little denim over the shoulder bag is very cute and everything about it is trendy. The fact that it's a shoulder bag, the fact that it is denim, I most like the fact that it is inexpensive. And then you have the denim Caperni bag, which I also think is cute, but you can't fit much in it. I have a lot of bags that only fit this much. I love this bag, but I wish it was just a bit bigger. Fendi came out with this denim bag, which I think is very cute. And then by far has this one, but I have a love-hate relationship with by far if you watched this video you know that I got a by far gold bag and the quality felt and looked like in my opinion like it was from Zara I was so upset about it and I just sent it back but it's here if you like it and I just wanted to give you that option
like that this denim bag is a black denim. In my last video, I was talking about how when I'm thinking of denim, I'm usually thinking of blue. But I like that this one is black. It's different. The shape is pretty classic. If you are a denim lover, this is something that you will be wearing forever. If it's just part of your wardrobe because it's a classic style and it's black denim. How could you go wrong with that, right? And then of course you have this one from Coach. I will be 100% honest with you in that I wish that this denim swinger didn't have um, the CCs on it. I'm not a huge fan of the Coach bags with the C's and maybe it's just mental I don't know if this was just a plain denim bag I would love it I think it's really really cute and this is the kind of bag that I would really appreciate on somebody else just not me now look at this two-tone denim bag from Urban Outfitters I love that it's two different washes it really gives the bag more versatility I'm not a huge fan of the um, the chain that they added to it if I'm being honest I don't know if it's detachable or not but I do like the shape of it and actually now now that I look at it I don't hate the chain if the chain was just hanging while held from the top I think that's kind of cute but to use a chain as a shoulder strap may make it look weird in my opinion but the best part of this bag to me is that it's two different washes of denim so I was talking about Rebecca Binkoff and she has also gotten into the denim bag game I love a good top handle bag and this is that again it's two different washes but I can't figure out if I love this bag Bag or not I, I don't I don't know let me know what you think about this I know that comes in two different sizes and we know it's gonna be decent quality because it's Rebecca Minkoff and this bag is on sale at two different places of course I will put that in the description box this last denim bag from and other stories is also two different denims and I think when you have two different colored denims you get more uh, use out of it even though denim is a pseudo neutral and you could wear it with everything it's about the tones a lot of the time and this is hitting three trends the crescent shape the um, oversized bag and the denim bag and and other stories always has decent quality bags okay so let's get into some metallic bags so this bag from Simkai obviously is not an everyday bag it is very very pretty though it's something that will work really well on your beach vacation for dinner. I believe it's an oyster shell and it's hanging from one gold beautiful string. I think this is so feminine and just extra on vacation, which all sounds like things that I would love. <laughs> things that I would love to do like can you imagine a beautiful beautiful flowing vacation white dress and holding this bag with some beautiful gold jewelry I think this is such a pretty bag it comes in gold and silver because how can we forget silver in 2023 and then we have this beautiful gold bag from Demilier I have spoken about this brand before and I actually have something else I want to show you from them but this is on a decent sale and the color is so pretty I love everything shiny you know that if you've been following me for a while these two clutches from them in silver and in gold I think are very pretty for wedding season or beach vacation or whatever you like they also have that in a raffia straw version just as cute and then they have this little handheld kind of briefcase looking bag I know it's not a briefcase but I think this is so classy classic and elegant I love this bag so much and they have a few different straw bags I love this one for $2.95 which is a good alternative to like the Loewe ones that are more money I love that they have the Vancouver in this same style or in the same material they have the London and the New York in this material and I'm just in love the Nano Montreal is the cutest little vacation or summer bag it is so cute if you have anything from this brand I would love to hear your thoughts I actually had someone leave uh, a comment and said that they have the bag and it's pretty they had the Montreal I believe it's not as good quality as coach but like what is what leather is as good as quality as coach right so just keep that in mind but I would love to know if you have this bag or anything from this brand what your thoughts are 
This gold metallic bag from Nordstrom is so good. It's so cute. I feel like it is a beautiful dupe for the gold Bottega Jody. It looks very, very similar and just as cute. So this bag from Marnie show ain't cheap. <laughs> it is not cheap, but I still wanted to show you because I think it's so pretty. I love a dainty top handle bag and to top it off, it's metallic. I love shiny things. I know it's not cheap, but we're just exchanging pretty things here, right? I just wanted to show you. It is on a fairly good sale, right? But it's still, it's still well over a thousand dollars, but it's so pretty, right? This bag from Farfetch is really for that girl, guy, gal who has everything in their closet, right? They are, they have all their necessities, all their basics. This is just very different and I think it's pretty cool. I don't know what's gonna fit in this bag because it's so slim, but maybe a few pencils, I don't know. But I think, I really feel like it is a very different, kind of cool looking bag. What do you think? So if you were following Fashion Week, you saw that a lot of people had this bag by by far. I was thinking about getting it because I did see it on sale. But again, if you saw this video, you know the issues I had with my by far bag. So I'm probably skipping this. But if you are interested, it is here and it is on sale. This bag from Urban Outfitters is giving you a very similar upscale vibe or more expensive vibe for $89. The shape is on trend, it's metallic, everything you want, just much, much cheaper. Now I've talked about this bag before and I might have even talked about it in my last video, <laughs> but I wanted to bring it to you again because they have a similar version of the bag I was talking about um, from Demillier, right? I would love to know if anyone has anything from this brand because I'm really interested in the quality. I know they look beautiful. I'm assuming the quality is good just because I'm looking at the stitch but I don't know what the, the leather feels like, so let me know. I know it's from this bag or this bag from Paulin, and I've had a Paulin bag before, and I know the quality of the leather is top tier on that. But anyway, yeah, just let me know. And a few videos ago, I showed you this bag from Target. It's a very cute bag and a very good dupe for the boy bag. In fact, it's more of a dupe for the bag from Ghani, but similar vibe. But I saw this bag from Target, this bag from Target, and this bag. And I think that they are perfect for vacation and the upcoming spring, summer. And what they look like, they look like that Loewe tote, right? And I love the options that you could get from Target. If you are not new here, you know that I'm a very high low shopper. You might catch me outside with a Target bag, wearing, also wearing some Gian Vito Rossi boots. Like, like I like what I like, it doesn't matter the cost. So shopping at Target, the first thing I look at is always bags. They have some really, really cute bags. Anyway, you guys, that is it. I don't need another bag, but like I said, I'm a bag lady, so I'm probably gonna buy a new one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.